everyone. So this is part two of our featured shoulder workout. So again, you're gonna warm up on the arm cycle, okay, just like we did last week. And then after you do your arm cycle, you're gonna do shoulder um, circles going backwards for a minute and shoulder circles going forward for a minute. After your warm up, you're gonna come over here to machine 15 and we're gonna adjust this so that it's the appropriate height for you. And you're gonna start with internal rotation and external rotation of the shoulder. So I'm gonna make sure my shoulder's down and back, my elbow is by my side, and then I'm just going to bring the arm across my navel and slowly let it go for that internal rotation. Again, you're keeping it at a light weight. You're gonna do this for about 30 seconds or 60 seconds depending on your level and if you've ever done this before. Now, after you finish with that one, you would switch arms. You're gonna do the same thing. My elbow stays by my side and I'm gonna internally rotate the shoulder, keeping my elbow by my side. Now, to externally rotate, I go the opposite way. I'm gonna come away from my body. Okay, my shoulder stays down and back, almost as if I'm hitchhiking, okay? Again, same rules apply. You'll do it for time today for 30 seconds and then you'll do the same thing, switching arms. So it's not a fast movement. I'm not shrugging, I'm keeping my shoulders down and back, but I am bringing my forearm away from my torso. Okay, after working the smaller muscles of our internal and external rotators, we're gonna use the cable again, and this time we're gonna work the back of our shoulder, our rear delt, okay? So you're gonna grab the cable, and again, it's about shoulder height. Now this time my elbow is away from my body, whereas the other exercise, I was keeping my elbow next to my torso, okay? So I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna bring the arm away uh, from the machine coming across. But I'm not twisting my torso. My torso is staying straight, but I'm bringing it back, holding for just a second or two and slowly release. Again, we're doing it for time, 30 to 60 seconds, it's totally up to you. And if you're not sure, just see your trainer. When you finish one side, you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna bring it away, okay, from the machine. After working my rear delt on the cable, I'm gonna grab a set of dumbbells, gonna go a little bit heavier, and I'm gonna do bent over rear delt flies, keeping my back flat. I can do it standing, hinging forward, or I can use a chair or the bench, come forward, keeping my back flat, and getting my rear delts for a count of eight. So remember, when you're using the dumbbells, you're going a little bit heavier. All right, so our last exercise, we're gonna work more the anterior aspect of our deltoid or our shoulder. So again, we're gonna be on machine 15, we're gonna use the cable, our shoulder stays down and back, and we're gonna pull it forward about shoulder height and then slowly releasing it. Again, we're doing it for time, keeping my abs engaged, keeping my back straight, 30 to 60 seconds on one side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, switching the opposite arm. After I finish both arms, we're going to grab a set of dumbbells, okay? We're going to go a little bit heavier, and this time we're going to work it, but not for time. You're going to bring it out in front of you and slowly bring it down for a count of eight. I hope you guys had fun. We will see you at the gym, and if you have any questions, remember, seek your trainer. Everything is modifiable. We want to make sure you're safe and having fun.